careful. Hi, bud. Hey everyone, this is Mary over here at Images on the Page, and today I'm going to be doing the birthday book tag. I saw I saw Cass over at What Cass Reads Do It for her birthday, and the originator is brunette bibliophile and I will link both of their videos down below. So the first question, it's not a question, but the first, yeah, fine, it's a question. The first question is count your birthday along your bookshelf and then subtract your birth month. So I was, my birthday was actually Sunday, the day of the Super Bowl. So it's the fourth and I was born in February. So I counted four over and then subtracted two. And I got this lovely book. These really Precious moments through the day stories. I, well, I still think they're adorable. I used to love these stories. I would read them right before bed to kind of calm down for the day. So yeah, they're just really cute. And they all have like little illustrations and stuff in them, so. Question two is if you could spend your birthday with any fictional character, who would it be and why? I cheated slightly. I picked two characters, but it's because they're a pair. Um, I picked Sarah Gill and Alec from the Night Runner series by Lynn Fwelling. I think I've talked about her a little bit, but if you love thieves and court intrigue and magic with wonderful gaming characters, I would definitely check hers out. It's like a seven book long series, but they are just so funny and fun loving. And I just think it's fun to be around. They're also super smart, so I'd probably feel like a little bit of an idiot around them. But I just think it'd be kind of cool and if they could kind of teach me the tricks of the trade and stuff like that. So those are the two I picked. Number three, find a book that takes place in the season you were born in. So for that one, I found Magic's Price by Mercedes Lackey. It's the third book in the Last Herald Mage trilogy. I read this a while ago and I absolutely absolutely loved it but the third one is very emotional and heartbreaking and the majority of it takes place in winter and the book kind of definitely has that mood where it's more somber and serious and just very sad so i would definitely highly recommend the series um it also focuses around a gay main character vaniel the main character in this is gay and it just kind of deals with him growing up in his trials and tribulations and they're just they're so good. They're so good. Plus the covers are really pretty. But yeah, but be warned, it is, there are some very rough moments, especially, um, I'm gonna just put a trigger warning for the first one. There is a suicide in it. So I just wanna warn people that it is, that it is there. And there's some homophobia in the first book. So if you do pick them up, which I still think they're 100% worth it, just be aware that that is something that happens on a lighter note. Number four is find a book the color of your birthstone. So this one I had a bit of a harder time. My birthstone is amethyst and it's supposed to be a really dark purple. Kind of like my walls. I don't know if you can tell that they're purple, but um, I couldn't really find a book that was like that dark. So I just kind of picked this one. Um, it's Haunted in the Mediator series by Meg Cabot. It's, I mean, it's a pretty dark purple. I mean, it's actually kind of a bright purple, but, and I just wanted to bring this up because this is a really fun series. Um, the main character, Suze, can um, see and speak to the dead, and she's in high school. I read this a while ago, like probably back in high school, but I just thought it was very entertaining, and I really enjoyed it. So I would, if you are into more contemporary, supernatural, YA novels, I would definitely give this one a shot. This is the fifth book in the series, so don't start with this one. So number five is, is there a series with the same number of books as your age? If there is, what is it? I didn't find one that had the same number. I, there was one that was really close though. And no one's gonna be surprised that I'm gonna do this little cheat. Tamora Pierce has 28 books out right now. Um, and I'm making this video. She actually has another one coming out this month, really close to my birthday. So it's a wonderful birthday present to me. Not that I think she intended that, but still. 
Um, so as of right now, it's 28. It will be 29. I am 27, so it's just a one-off, and I just wanted a chance to talk about her in my video, so I took it. Number six, pick a book set in a time period, world, or country you would like to have been born in. So many people who know me are not going to be surprised by this. Um, they might be slightly surprised by the world I picked. I picked Emelon from the Tamora Pierce series, the Circle series and the Circle Open series. I picked that Emelon instead of Tortal just because I love the magic system in Emelon a bit more. I also like how she exalts, I don't, that's not quite the right word, but focuses on these very, people think of as mundane duties, like being a seamstress or being a gardener, and then makes them more important. And it kind of, it's just really cool to see because like a lot of people are like, magic is this great wondrous thing and it comes from within, but like in her Emelon series, she does have that kind of magic, but she also has what she calls ambient magic, where they use the magic already in the items. Like if they're a plant magic, they use the magic inherent in the plants, not within themselves. And I just think it's a really cool take on magic, and I just love the world that it's set in. Those are the six questions. Until, until the next video, ta-ta for now!